Good morning, Rainbow Room. Hope you're having a great morning. All right, let's dive in to our calendar for today. Let's see. So, <clears throat> as you can see, our week is almost completely filled. So, yesterday was Thursday. Thursday. That means that today is Friday. Perfect. Okay. Which means that tomorrow will be the first day of our weekend, Saturday. Yeah, the Saturday and Sunday are parts of our weekends, not our weekdays. So, yesterday was Thursday, the 16th. Today is Friday, the... Yesterday was 16, today is the 17th. Yes, awesome. So, I can also see by our pattern that I think today's day is going to be on a green circle. Perfect. Okay, one and a seven for 17. One out of seven for 17. So today is Friday the 17th. Tomorrow will be Saturday, and then after Saturday, it will be Sunday. So we won't have any calendar videos for Saturday or Sunday because those are the weekends. So those are your days to spend with your family. I know we've been spending a lot of time at home because we don't, we haven't been going to school, but we still have to kind of remember what our weekends and weekdays are. During the weekdays, we've got our Zoom meetings, activities, projects, calendar. So um, on Monday, when we come back, we will fill in Saturday and Sunday's numbers. So we can think about it over the weekend, or you can even ask a family member to show you a calendar so you can see what day it is or you can guess if today is the 17th and you can tell whoever's with you what day you think tomorrow will be, what number you think tomorrow will be. Okay, so let's do a quick little repeat after me. And let's see, so repeat after me. Today is Friday, April, 17 of 2020 awesome I'm sure by the time we get back to school my friends are gonna be some pretty great pros at calendar all right now oh let's do a quick weather check so again today seems to be a very sunny sunny day yesterday was very warm where I live it was a little too warm but Today seems to be another pretty warm, sunny, beautiful day. And there are so many little flowers that I see on my walks in the morning that are just blooming. It looks really great. If you see an interesting plant or if your plants are growing or you're on a walk and you find a really cool looking leaf or flower or bug, anything that resembles to our season of spring please take a picture and send it to us i would love to see it i'm going to see keep an eye out for some pretty cool flowers and send pictures to my rainbow room friends all right before we go i wanted to go over something on fridays when we typically do sign language for our letterland but um, I wanted to make sure that my friends haven't forgotten how to sign all of their letters. So let's do a quick little review. So get your hand ready, whichever hand you want to use, your left or your right. You can switch if you'd like. I'm going to do with my right hand. All right, so let's get it ready. Let's see, we're going to start with A. So you put all your fists together and then put your thumb really close. A. B, 
C, D. So D is like if you make like a like a duck mouth, but you put your pointer finger up. D, E, F. It's like you're making a circle with your thumb and your index, and you put all of the other fingers up. Um, all right, we got it. G. If you're pointing, H, I, J, you scoop up, K, it almost looks like the letter K, like kicking king, L, M is three fingers over your thumb, N is two fingers over your thumb, O, P, like this, kind of like you're pointing down. Q. R. Like your fingers are hugging. S. You put your thumb over your first two fingers. T. You put your thumb in the middle of those two fingers. U. V. W. X. Kind of like a pirate hook. X, Y, and Z. Awesome. I hope my friends remember all of their alphabets and sign. If you do, send me a video. I would love to see you practicing. And then next week, maybe we can introduce some sign words because I know we know more for snack. So I want us to include more words and sign. All right, friends, have a great day. I'll see you in a little bit for um, our morning Zoom video. And have a great, amazing, fun-filled weekend.